Assalamu alaikum indulgers, welcome back to Ramadan with E.T. I'm so glad you could join me here today. It's day 16 already, may we experience the rest of this month in good health. On today's menu we have Matabak, a Saudi Arabian street food that one must try whenever they find themselves in the Holy Lands. But until that great opportunity presents itself, we're going to recreate this street food in the comfort of our kitchens. Matabak is a pan-fried pastry that is stuffed with meat, eggs, a variety of spices and some fresh vegetables. To prepare our filling, we're going to put about a cup of minced meat into a preheated pan and season it with a pinch of salt. No oil has been added, the mint is going to cook in its own fat. Once the mince has browned, I'm going to transfer it into a bowl and add in my seasoning. Today I'm using cumin, coriander, black pepper and some salt. Into the same bowl, we're going to add some fresh vegetables, some tomatoes, some spring onions and some spinach. Lastly, I'm going to add three whole eggs and incorporate them into the mixture. Now that our filling is out of the way, let's go ahead and prepare our pastry dough. Into a large bowl, I'm going to add two cups of flour, followed by one and a half teaspoons of salt, one and a half cups of water, and three tablespoons of olive oil. I'm going to mix it all in until I have a very wet batter. Once that batter is incorporated, I will add the final cup of flour, making it three cups in total. Once my dough is incorporated, I'm going to prepare my work surface and knead it for 10 minutes. After 10 minutes, I'm going to divide my dough into 15 equal pieces. This recipe will make you 15 mutabaks. If you wish to make less, then you must adjust the quantity of your ingredients. However, I like to make a lot at one time and pop them into the freezer so that I can pull them out and put them in a sandwich press for quick consumption. So to roll out our pastry dough, we're going to add some olive oil onto our work surface and gradually flatten down our dough until it is very thin and quite transparent. Once our pastry is all flattened out, we're going to add our filling. A few tablespoons at a time, which we're going to spread out into a square or something that resembles a square. <laughs> Next, we're going to fold our pastry from one side over the other and then the top over the bottom, making sure that making sure that the sides meet onto a heated roti pan or a frying pan. Carefully place your matabak and allow it to cook for three minutes on each side. Repeat this until you are satisfied with the doneness of your pastry. If you wish to have a more oily and crispier pastry, you can add some olive oil onto the pan as you fry. Don't forget to toast the sides of your mutablek. The pastry is quite hot at this point, so I have used a paper towel to prevent me from burning my fingers. Once your mutablek is ready, rest it on some baking paper and cut it up to serve. I have cut up my mutablek here and served it with some Turkish chili peppers, some sliced lemons and some sliced red onions. This is how it's presented on the streets of Mecca. May the Almighty Allah call us back to the Holy Lands again soon. I hope you enjoyed this recipe. I pray that the next half of your Ramadan will be blessed and may Allah accept all our prayers. Until we meet again in the next recipe, Ramadan Kareem.